Okay, so I decided that I'm going to start documenting um, everything about my me trying to get pregnant and me not being able to get pregnant and my whole journey about it. Um, it's been really hard for me to talk about it, but now I've decided I'm going to put it on camera. Um, so back in March, uh, well, in January I found out I was pregnant and we weren't really trying, but we, um, we weren't not trying either. We kind of just decided whatever happens, happens. So we were really excited when we found out I was pregnant. Um, we had only been trying for a couple months and I got pregnant and we were so excited because my husband, he's, um, he's about that age where he's ready to have kids. He's 31 now and I'm 25. So we were kind of like, Oh, we're super excited. And anyways, and then we, um, come March one morning, well, actually a couple days before I started having really like spotting brown bleeding and, um, people told me not to think anything of it, that you kind of bleed when you're pregnant, when you're pregnant and it's kind of normal. And I decided, you know, I'm just gonna, we'll see what happens. Hopefully pray for the best. And, um, one day I was at work and I started to, um, bleed a lot more and I kind of broke down at work and, um, they told me to go to emergency and I, I knew something wasn't normal and I just prayed for the best and, um, anyways, I went to the doctor, called my husband up and we went, we went to the doctor and they did an ultrasound on me and, um, at that point I was kind of freaking out because the ultrasound techs aren't allowed to talk to you or tell you anything the doctor has to tell you. So... They took me and they took some, they did an ultrasound and then they took me into back to the room and said the doctor will be with me. And I'm sitting there freaking out because they told me to put a hospital gown on. I'm thinking thinking the worst. And the doctor comes in and she starts to read my file. And she looks at me and says, um, oh my gosh, there's no heartbeat. <laughs> so I can't tell you that feeling, how my heart just stopped and um, it was really hard so she told me to go see my doctor the next day and he was able to get me in right away and I went and saw him and he did an ultrasound and he confirmed that the baby was gone and that I would uh, I'm starting to miscarry and he said it could take over a month for me to miscarry on my own or I could go back home and my parents have insurance out there that's a little bit better than mine. I could go back home and they could perform a DNC for me. So I decided I wanted the surgery right away because I couldn't bear to think of having the baby inside of me for that long. So I went, was flying home and all of a sudden I felt this, right before I was walking on a plane, I felt this gush of liquid happen and I kind of was like oh my gosh I don't know what's happening and I had really bad stomach pain it was to the point where I was kind of crying before I was getting on the flight telling my husband like I don't know if I can do this I don't know what's going on like I, I'm in a lot of pain right now and so all of a sudden I got on the flight right before I walked on the flight it was there was nothing coming out it was just a lot of clear liquid so I'm guessing that was kind of like my water breaking and then I got on the flight and all of a sudden I kind of sneezed and I felt all this blood gush out and I was sitting in the middle seat next to two strangers and I didn't know them and I didn't want to freak them out so I kind of just kept it to myself and tried to remain calm and uh, as soon, soon as we were in the air and I was able to get up I tried to clean um, the seat up without anyone noticing and I went up bathroom and all of a sudden blood just started gushing everywhere it was like it was a really bad scene in the bathroom and then I cleaned all that up and um it went and sat back down and I continued to bleed but I put some paper towels as thick as I could underneath me and my husband couldn't come with me so I was by myself at this point miscarrying on the plane and then I got to the airport 
and I'm walking and my brother's calling me because he's ready to pick me up and um, I went out into the stall bathroom and all of a sudden I just saw everything and it was one of the worst experiences of my life and so now we're in December now that was back in March so we're about nine months later and I'm still having a lot of problems getting pregnant um, I've had very inconsistent periods. My cycles are about 40, 42 days long, sometimes longer. I had one time where I don't even think month I even ovulated and I can tell you that I have really bad days sometimes, like today. It's been really hard. Um, I have a lot of family members. <laughs> Um, all of my husband's side, they all have kids, so it's been really hard on me, um, but I'm just making this video because I want all the women out there to know that there are so many people going through this, and I'm trying to make, remain as positive as I possibly can because there's nothing I can possibly do. And I'm going to see a fertility specialist in November, so hopefully she can kind of give me an idea of what's going on with my body and maybe help me see if I need to get on something to help regulate my periods because I've read a lot of things and supposedly it's really hard to get pregnant when you are having cycles that are that long. And so all I can do is hope for the best and... Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated.